how you view yourself manifests into your reality. I was in a position where I used to view myself as terrible. I couldn't achieve anything. I couldn't literally do anything. I couldn't go out to that person and speak to them. I couldn't have a good interaction with someone. I couldn't achieve this goal. I couldn't do this for me. And overall, this kept me in this box of hating myself and feeling like I was nothing. And now I view myself in a different light and it's took time to build up into that, but I view myself into a different light. And it's a beautiful thing overall when you change the perspective on how you view yourself. Because a lot of us, especially in this modern day, view ourselves as terrible and that we can't achieve anything. And it's not surprising really, is it? When a lot of us are addicted to our phones and we don't spend time on actually bettering ourselves and we don't spend time on bettering our skills, bettering ourselves, bettering different areas of ourselves. And overall, we need to understand that if we start believing a different mindset, essentially, if we start telling ourselves a different mindset, we can better that whole situation and that whole scenario. Instead of viewing ourselves as someone who can't achieve anything, who's terrible, who will never amount to anything. Because in that mindset, you're not going to amount to anything. In that mindset, you're going to always be stuck in that box. You're always going to be stuck in that cube where you can't escape. You try to escape that side, you try to escape that side, and you're not going to get out of it because of your mindset. You're essentially trapped in this mental box that you can't get out of. And overall, it's important for a lot of us to understand that we need we need to start viewing ourselves in a different light. We need to start telling ourselves different things about ourselves, affirming to ourselves different beliefs, because when we do that, we're going to have a positive effect. And when we do that, we're going to change how we view ourselves. We're going to change our life in a sense, because we are going to believe it the more we tell ourselves something. The more you tell yourself something, the more you believe it. And that's what's happened with me. And that's what's happened with a lot of people. When you affirm stuff to yourself, and you affirm, you can do this, do this, do this, you can literally change how you act. You can literally change what you go for. You can literally change a lot of things about yourself. And that's a beautiful and excellent thing overall. But if you affirm to yourself that you're terrible, you can't achieve this goal, I can't do this thing, I can't do this thing, I can't do that, you're going to hold yourself back and you're going to take away from yourself overall because you're not even going to try to get out of that box. You're not even going to take yourself out of that box. You're not even going to try to escape that box you're in. And overall, this is going to literally ruin you in a sense, because we will not be able to see ourselves outside of that box. Therefore, we're not gonna to try to break out of that box. It's almost like when you see yourself as something further on, and you are, and you try to achieve that, and you go towards that, that has the effect. But if you see yourself as someone who can't achieve this thing, can't achieve that call, I can't go up to that girl. I can't build something. I can't build a YouTube channel. I can't build this thing. I can't go out to the gym today. I can't work on this thing, work on this thing. You're gonna hold yourself back. You're gonna hold yourself back to an insane degree. You're gonna hold yourself back to an insane extent. And we don't want that, do we? We don't want that. We want us to break out of our shell, build ourselves into who we wanna be, build ourselves into a better version, and make ourselves into someone who we're actually proud to be. And that's the message overall in this video. Literally, how you literally view yourself. How you view yourself. If you view yourself as weak, not strong, you, you're skinny, you're fat, you can't do this, you can't do this and you don't change the belief into thinking, oh, I can get in shape, or oh, I can build some confidence in myself if I try and try and try. I can't do this thing, I can't do this. If you don't change your mindset into believing you can do that, you're not gonna even try to break out of that because you are gonna limit yourself based off of your old beliefs of yourself and you're always gonna have them past same beliefs of yourself. And that's a terrible place to be in. And I was literally in this place where I'd hold myself in the past. I would literally hold myself in the past of myself, of how I viewed myself from years ago. And therefore that would manifest in my reality. Them same ex beliefs that I had would manifest into my own reality, making me feel worse, making me feel more terrible in myself, making me feel like I can't achieve a single thing. And therefore I wouldn't achieve a single thing. I wouldn't even try to break out that box to myself. Therefore I wouldn't even see any growth in myself. And that's a terrible and harsh place to be in because then you get mad at yourself for not achieving anything and you blame other things, you blame other people, you blame this thing, this thing, this thing, and you never break out of that. And you never break out of that. And that ruins you to your core because you feel like you've got untapped potential then and you can't achieve it. You feel like you've got untapped things in you and you can't achieve it. And that's a terrible place to be in. That's a terrible place to be in. That was a place I was in. And that's a place where I feel like a lot of young people in our modern day are in. And there could even be older people still in that to this day. Because a lot of times you let what people said about you in the past, what they've said at you at school, what they've said at you at work, what they've said at you wherever the situation is, hold you back because you're viewing yourself from their light. You're not viewing yourself from your light. You're not viewing yourself from what you can do. And a lot of times when you let people base their beliefs on you 
and almost stunt your growth on you. You don't help yourself. You really don't, you don't help yourself and you ruin yourself in a sense because you cannot allow yourself time and the ability to improve then because you're holding yourself in this person's image and therefore you're not gonna to try to exceed that image because you're gonna feel like I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. And when you identify as something saying I'm a loser, I can't achieve this, you are gonna hold yourself in that and you're not gonna even try because you're gonna feel like, what's the point of me trying? What's the point of me even trying to do this thing? What's the point of even me trying to better myself, better this scenario, better my shape, better this, it's gonna take ages, I can't be bothered, or I'm not gonna get strong, all these things. You hold yourself in that light. Therefore, you're not even gonna break out of that box. You're not even gonna break out of that light. You're not even gonna see your potential in that thing because you're automatically holding yourself there to begin with. And that's a terrible place to be in overall. That's an insanely terrible place to be in. And that's the place I was always in not long ago. I was, I would say I was in that literally up to last year. Mid last year, I'd say I was definitely in that box. And it's weird, it takes that belief of you believing in yourself. It takes that thought of you believing, oh no, I could do this thing, I'll go up and chat to that person. Even though I'm a bit nervous and you do it. It takes you believing, oh, I can build a YouTube channel, making your first few videos, getting a few subscribers, thinking I can do that. It takes you going to the gym a few times, seeing a bit of results, seeing a bit of results and thinking, oh, I can do this, I can get better. It takes you, being in a calorie deficit, being on a diet for a bit, losing four or five pounds and thinking, oh no, I can actually lose weight. And I may be out of shape now, but I can get there over time. And I believe I can get there. And that's the true difference. And that's the true message in this video. How you literally view yourself has an amazing effect on you because if you view yourself in the light, if you're terrible and you can't achieve anything, you're automatically gonna strive towards that. You're gonna strive towards being a loser. But if you, strive towards you can achieve this thing i can get this goal i can get this thing i can get this thing i can get this thing i can do this i can do this i can build this and you start striving towards them you're going to see better results in yourself and you're going to get out of your comfort zone therefore you're going to see results in yourself that you've never seen before because it's on the other side of fear it's on the other side of hardship of pain of being out of your comfort zone essentially being vulnerable in a sense because it can backfire but you can see amazing improvements in yourself and amazing growth in yourself. And you're gonna build confidence then because you're trying things you never tried before. Therefore, you're getting out of the box that you were in before. And now you're trying and trying and you're gonna achieve things that you never thought you could achieve in, in yourself overall. And that's what's happened with me. It's took a thought of me thinking, oh, I can start the YouTube channel or I can go to the gym or I can lose some weight and truly believing in that to make me into who I am today. And that's the truth, man. That is the genuine truth. And I want you lot to understand that you can achieve some amazing things in yourself and you can achieve some amazing things in you and it's important for us to understand that so i hope you all got a lot of value in this video like comment and subscribe thank you for all the love recently it means the world to me i'm so grateful thank you like comment and subscribe thank you